the 30th legislature second sitting first session for those of you who are counting and I'm incredibly excited to outline what's promising to be an ambitious and varied legislative agenda. Our government made bold promises to Albertans before we were handed a decisive mandate on April 16th of this year. The spring sitting saw us pass a nearly unprecedented 13 bills, but in the immortal words of Randy Bachman, you ain't seen nothing yet. The fall sitting should see us pass 14 to 17 bills plus a budget. Each of the bills designed to enhance freedom and improve quality of life for Albertans and to bring the province back to fiscal balance after four years of reckless NDP spending. Our children and theirs will thank us for taking the steps necessary to get our fiscal house in order, restore the province's former AAA credit rating and reassure job creators and investors that the province is open for business again. Alberta's debt has increased rapidly in the last four years of NDP rule from $13 billion to $60 billion, and we are on track to exceed $100 billion over the next four years. The province's spending would be $10.4 billion less every year if we match the average spending of Canada's three largest provinces, Ontario, Quebec and British Columbia. Alberta would have $3.7 billion surplus instead of a $6.7 billion deficit just by bringing our spending in line with that of our peers. Folks, this may be an entirely easy, may not be an entirely easy process, but Albertans have given us a clear indication that they expect us to make the tough decisions, that we will rebuild our province's stalled economy, and set the stage for fiscal sustainability for generations to come. Speaking of strengthening the economy, I'm proud to note that I'll be tabling a motion in the House this week that calls upon the members of the Assembly to support our best in class oil and gas resources. We're all aware that Alberta's energy industry operates with the best environmental and human rights standards in mind. 